Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the progression with the Stormbrand character. Um, I did indeed die at level 70 on day one. I'm sure you guys saw that video. If you didn't, feel free to check it out. The rip is pretty funny. Um, so we're back here with day 1.5 slash 2. We re-leveled. We're level 79 currently. Uh, and I just want to show you guys my links. We've gotten pretty lucky with drops this go around. I've got some pretty crappy gloves. Um, they've got Innervate, which Control Destruction, Storm Brand, Lightning Pen. That's my current links we're using. So not very good belt. Pretty decent boots that we were all happy with those. Just using Conductivity, Faster Casting. And then I just have Brand Recall Chilling there. We ended up finding a Belly of the Beast, even though I'm trying to chance a Cloak of Defiance. So this is really good. This is going to help scale a ton of flat life from Abyss Jewels. Um, just leveling jewels in here, really nothing special in there. We've got Flame Dash, Faster Casting, Arcane Surge in this current weapon. That's pretty solid. 24 damage implicit. It's got a hybrid spell damage roll with mana, which means that we can still craft on it. So we crafted Lightning Damage because it's cheaper than crafting spell damage, and it's the exact same thing for us. We also get that Cast Speed and the Lightning Dispels. I think I said Cast Speed. Uh, here's the other weapon that we've got, pretty similar. The Flat Cold is actually pretty nice because Chilling Mobs is just, it's just nice. It's nothing like too crazy but just nice um pretty happy about this helmet um i'm pretty scared of physical damage this league because of the syndicates i've actually put all the syndicates in a hole right now and they can't attack me because you know i get kind of scared of them after what happened um not really using this banner at all and then here's like basic gear nothing really too crazy here's a skill tree it looks exactly as the build guide document that we are following the only thing that i have changed is i decided to grab Divine Guidance as our uh, Cruel Lab because of me getting hit for basically 5k in one second before Katava. So I want it to be extra, extra safe on the defenses. Um, and then for Uber Lab, we're getting Arcane Blessing. Our Flask, I currently have Basalt uh, Onslaught Quicksilver. I want to use Basalt Flask and a Granite Flask. Use an Iron Skin Granite, which will scale off the 20% armor on Sanctity and which will scale off Alchemist. I know a lot of people are gonna say, why are you running, like, why granite? Granite flasks are good. I don't care what anyone says. When you're taking small amounts of burst damage, granite flasks are really, really, really good. If your goal is to face tank physical damage, granite is not really what you wanna use, but for characters that don't have much armor, granites are very, very, very strong. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and run this map. I don't have much to show. I just have a T4. It's my highest map since we're only level 79. Let's go ahead and pop it in. Uh, sure, let's go. Oh, I will note that we're using uh, a three-link Lightning Spire trap for single target. That's Lightning Pen, Lightning Spire, Control Destruction. Red Beast. One, two, I don't really want to tank it. Especially because it's sub fizz. I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So for this fight, since this is the goat boss. Uh, I'm gonna use a few of my. Well, basically, I wanna I wanna really showcase how strong Lightning Spire Trap is. Um, so I'm just gonna hit him. We just just have three of these on right now. 
Oh, they're actually gonna kill him. Let me not do that, because I, I want to show you the lightning spire trap. Okay, that's a nice desync slam. Okay, I think now he slows down. Okay, so one, two, three. Oh, that's with no elemental overload proc, so they actually look kind of shit. Normally, they're actually pretty solid, I promise. They go really well in conjunction with Stormbrand. Um, but yeah, that's been the character pretty much so far. It feels really, really, really good. Um, if you want to basically get some good movement speed, remember that the Alchemist nodes do scale your uh, Quicksilver Flask. They also scale the Adrenaline on it, so that's something that's really nice. And because this gets asked every single like five minutes, I just want to make an obvious note that Spiritual Aid converts minion damage into global damage, which means it works globally for everything that you do. That would include Storm Brand, that would include Armageddon Brand, that would include Lightning Spire Trap, and even increase your Golem's damage. Um, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Um, shout out to Einhart because he's my favorite master and he's pretty cool. So I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Take care, everybody.